Good morning, YouTube. This is Scott with InsideTheCurve.com. Back with another Fusion for 360 for woodworking tutorial. Uh, this morning we're going to talk about making a little bit cleaner sketches and using the view, view tree to get our parts named out and making everything uh, parametrically and working together. So let's get into it. First, I'm going to go ahead and save this project. Um, let's just make a name to YouTube. Hit save. We'll give it a second here. Changes to saved, and you can see it says V0. So every time you make a save, your uh, or V1, it's version one. So every time you make a save, it's going to uh, upgrade the uh, version, and you can put notes in your version and say what changes were made in case somebody's working on the project with you. Uh, so we're going to start out by defining our components. We're making a simple box for this project. So we're going to have four sides and a bottom. So I'm just going to right click and hit new component five times. There we go. Now I'm going to go ahead and name these. Uh, left side. Our right side. Our front. Our back. And finally our bottom. Alright. Well, let's go ahead and work on our front here. Hit that in the view cube. I'm going to turn all the rest of these off except front. We can do that by the light bulb. And now you can see this little fish eye. I want to make sure this component's active. Any kind of work you're doing on, we'll say theoretical, theoretically, the piece of wood, we want to make sure it's active. We don't want to have the fish eye active on the bottom and trying to do work on the front. And it can make your sketch real messy and, and not work cleanly together. So just something really you got to pay attention to. So on the front plane here, we're going to make a simple rectangle. I'm going to come off our origin here and I'm going to draw a rectangle that is 18 inches long by 6 inches high. Enter. And now we're going to bring up uh, press pull, stop that sketch, Q, press pull, and I'm going to go 0 0.5, half inch stock we'll say. Enter. And then we have, there we have our first piece of wood on the front side. Now I want to spin in here and I want to make the uh, left side, we'll say. So we're going to come up here and select left, make that active, and, uh, and now we're going to bring the rectangle down here, and I want to work right off of this surface here, like so, but I'm not going to drag my rectangle all the way up because I want to make everything work together. So I'm going to use the uh, collinear constraint for that. So I select collinear over here in the constraints menu, select that line to that line, that's locked down, this line to that line. Uh, I don't want to do that one, that one needs to go out further. So I have that locked in that way. Then I'm going to hit D for dimension. And I'm going to make this uh, 16 inches this time. Alright, stop our sketch. So there we have it. Now I'm going to press uh, press pull Q, select both of these. I want to go outward, so plus 0.5, enter. And there we have it. Second piece of wood. Uh, let's back up real quick. I made a mistake there. Whenever time we do a press pull, we want to make sure that the component is not active. That way there's no relationship between those. Any kind of cut action will not happen. So let's go ahead and fix that. Do that again. 0.5. All right. Well, now I would like to spin around. I'm going to turn my front back on. I want to get over here to my right side. So we're on the right. We need to make sure we have the right active. R for rectangle off of that surface there. And this is just the same thing. Uh, don't we want to lock it. Only thing we don't want locked it into is our corner down there of the existing uh, piece. I'm gonna select collinear again. Collinear there to there. D for dimension. 16 inches. Enter. Stop sketch. And there's our rectangle. 
and now I'm going to go ahead up and bring Q for press pull. Select both of these again. Now we got to remember, turn off all of our other components except the one we want to uh, press pull on. Uh, we want to go outward. I'll put Q in there. 0.5. Correct direction. Okay. Turn that front back on. Make sure everything looks good there. It's good, good. I'm going to spin around to here. Select the back. Turn the back on. Make that an active component, like so. R for rectangle. I'm going to select inside of here this time. I'm going to draw my rectangle, like so. And again, collinear. I want everything to work together. Like that. All right, D for dimension. 0.5 is correct. Now I want to make sure I get everything turned off before I do this. Except the component I'm working on before I do my press pull. Q. And that was 18 inches on our first one. And enter. All right, let's go ahead and turn all these on now. Make sure everything looks correct. And we can turn uh, our top of our tree on, make it active, and we can get a lot better view here. So there's our four pieces of digital wood, if you could say. Our joints look like they're right. We don't have anything overlapping or anything crazy. I know I've built some boxes before where I've got confused. Not in fusion, but in real life as far as piece-wise. But that's besides the point. Let's go ahead and make our bottom now. So now we're ready to go ahead and start drawing our grooves in the bottom, the grooves in the side to accept the, the bottom piece. So I'm going to start out by working on the right side. Well, I want to make sure I'm on the inside of the right side there. Spin around there. I'm going to turn off, make sure I'm selected on the right, active component, and turn all the rest of these off, like so. R for rectangle. And we're just going to draw a rectangle this way, D for dimension, quarter inch wide board for our bottom. Uh, I'm going to use the collinear constraint on these, like so. D for dimension, we are going to go 3 eighths of an inch from the bottom, 0.375. It's all black, fully defined, locked in, stop sketch. All of our other components are turned off so we know we can do our cut operation. Select that face, minus 0.125, which is an eighth inch. We can see we are cutting. Okay. Now we are ready to draw the next one, which will be the back piece. So I'm going to spin around in here. I'm going to make sure that it's active, back piece, like that. Now I'm going to go ahead and select that. I'm going to select that point there so we can lock in on that. So we're locked in down there in the corner. I'm going to make, I'm going to zoom over here and we want to use a collinear constraint on that piece to that piece there, like that. D for dimension, 0.25, enter. Turn off that right so we don't have any interference. Q brings up press pull. Minus 1.25. Uh, 
enter. There we go. Turn the front one on. Oop. Not yet. Right side, left side. Our left side on. Make that the active component. R for rectangle. Now we can kind of see that piece of wood there. And we're going to go ahead and use it like that. Like that. So you see we're locked in. D for dimension, 0.25, enter. So we're locked in down in the corner there. Zoom out. So we have one edge that's not fully defined there. We can see that by because it's blue. And zoom out here where we can see everything. I'm going to select collinear, that line, to that line. Select collinear, that line, to that line. Now we can see we're fully defined. Now we're ready to finally draw the opposite side here, which is the front. And for this one, make sure we got it active. We're going to use P for project. And we want to go to this surface. Select that. Let's spin around here. What do we want to project? Well, project just the face there. Hit OK. Uh, that geometry is projected to this side. So I'm going to turn everything else off. Q for press pull. Minus 0.125. Turn everything on. Make the top of our tree active. And there's our groove cut in the bottom. <coughs> so now we're ready to draw our piece of wood. We want to select the bottom. the project command again project I want to be all make sure on the bottom here like that so now we're just going to select the bottom line there of all of our grooves which might be a little tricky to see project that one That one, and that one. Select OK. And there we go, we just made a quick little uh, bottom piece there. Now we're going to go ahead and press pre uh, Q, press pull. And go ahead and turn everything else off. And we're going to go up a quarter inch because that's what we made our groove. And then there is our bottom. Make the top of our tree active. Insert or inspect. Oh, component color cycling. That makes everything a little bit more. Uh, easier to see. And we still see that projection in there. I think that was on the
left side open that up turn our sketches off that turns that off there so it looks a little cleaner let's turn on that toggle cycling gives you a little bit of a cleaner uh, view of what it's going on on everything so there's our box so now I'm gonna go ahead and select assemble as built that one that one that one that one so that's locked in so now I have all the joints locked together so there you have it that's our uh, box there and kind of making everything a little bit more clean uh, you can name any these anything you want to you can open these up like we did you want to do work on this left side piece of wood make sure you make it active get in there and turn all your components off and that's how you kind of break things up and make it a little easier to do what you need to get done so I hope you got something from this uh, video and if you did be sure to hit the like button uh, go ahead and subscribe I'm gonna keep pumping these videos out and until tomorrow have a great day